took a walk in the rain, as you can see. Um, and I am in Ireland right now. And I am playing a show tomorrow in Belfast. <laughs> um, how the fuck does this... Okay, whatever. Are there people watching? Hi. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to answer questions now about Eilish, my fragrance. There we go. Hi, everyone. Hello, comments. Hello. Um, okay, I'm going to answer questions now. So, I have them all here. Starting with Amelia asks me, or Amelia, Amelia, yeah. What day and color is the smell of Eilish? Oh, fantastic question to start. Um, so the color is essentially the color of the bottle. That's why I wanted the bottle to look like that. It's like this amber, um, yeah, amber kind of dark gold brown um, color. And the day, I don't have many, I don't, I don't usually have like specific, like in whatever my synesthesia is, it's not always like with smells, days aren't always associated. But if I had to say, it would be, Monday, just because Mondays have this like gold color to them. I don't know, that sounds very pretentious. Okay, Hallie or Haley, if Eilish was a core memory, what would it be? Ooh. If it was a core memory, what would it be? I would have to say something that has to do with my bedroom as a child um and i my childhood doll that i still like cuddle up to and hug um to this day her name was lily she's a bunny and um i don't know the the, the eilish and this fragrance kind of reminds me of her for some reason and of my closet when I was a kid that I still have in my room um, that my mom used to use and then I used it and blah, blah, blah. Um, but also when I was a kid, we had friends and at their house, their house always smelled like vanilla no matter what. And it was always so like beautifully decorated and every holiday it was like full out decorated. And I thought it was so cute. And I used to talk about how their house smelled like vanilla all the time. And I would always beg my mom to get lotions and like fragrances that smelled like their house. And I think that that's also a memory. Um, okay, Chris, can the per can you can the perfume be worn by boys too? Of course. I love you, Billy. And I hope you come to Romania one day. I hope so too. And I can't wait to when I do. Um, absolutely, it can. It just depends what you like. I. Uh, yeah, it is not, um, it is made for everyone, all kinds of people, all people, whatever you want. It's literally just a, like, preference thing. It's like, if you, if you feel like it, you, you want to smell like that, then you wear that smell. You know what I'm saying? For years, I, I I'm fussing with my hair so much because I just was literally soaked in rain. But, um, when I was younger, I went through a phase of, like, wearing almost only men's cologne because... I just, the, the, the scent was stronger and lasted longer and I thought it was more interesting. And um, really like, I think that fragrance doesn't have any gender. I feel like it's very, it's just you. It's whatever you want to be. I've always kind of been bothered by the like, this is women's fragrance, this is men's fragrance. Like who cares? It's just fragrance. Anyway, um, how do you feel when you're wearing your own perfume? I feel a lot of things that was sweet world oh that asked that um i feel a lot of things i think because you know we this was a smell that i had in mind since like like 2016 i would say um and i just i dreamed of it for so long and then like making it you know i got the first sample done in i think october mm, november of 2020 and so every day, they, I, I basically had like eight different versions made at first that all were kind of in the realm of what I wanted. And I basically wore each one differently to different things. And I did that for a couple of months. And so it smells like that period of time. It smells like kind of the cold air in, in November. And it smells like 
being around animals because I was a lot right then and it smells like being alone <laughs> also because you know 2020 and it also smells like it also smells like the summer of last year and and doing the shoot for the fragrance and it smells like going on trips and it smells like um it also smells like being cozy and warm and close with people and it smells like the holidays at the same time I don't know it smells like a lot of things to me so yeah what song smells like Eilish <laughs> Um, well, I can't smell songs. That is a talent I don't have. I've seen people with that, but that's, I don't think I have that. Um, but I guess like the vibe of a song with Eilish. Mm. Hmm. I want to say, I want to say overheated, even though. That's not really, doesn't really work. I don't know why that one comes to mind. That Oh, listen before I go, for sure. Easy. <laughs> Easy, even though I couldn't think of it at first. Kyra asks, does Eilish have any connections to your childhood slash memories? Well, yeah, kind of like what I was saying. Um, it really, it, it also, I was saying the thing about my closet when I was younger and my doll when I was younger. And another thing is um, I had a shirt that was like this, um, sheer black shirt that I would wear and it was this long sleeve sheer turtleneck and it was cute and I would wear it and I would wear a little like a bralette that didn't fit me at all underneath and I remember going to one of my friends school dances and I don't know that that shirt smelled like Eilish and this was like years before it just like I don't know I, I remember I wouldn't like I after I wore it that night there was just this smell that I just, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I remember deciding I would never wash the shirt again because I was like, I'm, this smell is so good. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Um, so that's one. Um, Kate says, what was your reaction when you first smelled Eilish? I got teary-eyed. I, I got kind of emotional. It was a, It was a scent that I had like been kind of chasing for so long and like dreaming of and it was just such an amazing moment they you know it was during covid so they sent this like big box of stuff and it was like again eight different fragrances they were all samples and they all had one two three four five six seven eight on them and then the little like smelling sticks and and then there was papers for each one that said all the notes and everything that had to do with them and blah 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 and I smelled number one, and number one was Eilish, and I just, I just was, I was so happy. It was such an amazing moment. Um, Sar, Sar, Sar says, who was the first person who smelled the finished scent? I think that it was my mom. Um, yeah, it was my mom. Jade says, how long did it take to make the scent? It took, mm, how long would you say? From like the, like a, a year, and a half, a year? Years, over a year, over a year, yeah, for sure over a year, um, and well, and also, you know, when I was like 14 or 15, I think I was 15, I went to, with my friend, we went to this like perfume shop, this like perfumer, in I don't know where you, you see how bad I need a, a trim here um and I basically went in and I was like I want something I want to create something because I'm dying I need I need <laughs> I need something that feels like this and smells like this and makes you feel like this and I stay we we stayed there for like hours trying to make something that smelled like how I wanted and it didn't work we we made a cute smell but it wasn't it wasn't what I really was thinking of and and so, you know, the beginning of the process with Ulta and Parlux was like, or I guess Parlux was, it was so amazing because they, they really knew what they were doing. They were like, oh, well, we can do this, we can do this, and tell us everything about it, and da 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 da. And um, it was really amazing. So the whole process was a long time. You know, we, it was months and months of talking, and then the first samples were in November of 2020, and then the fragrance didn't come out until. 
yeah, whatever it was. What was it? November. November. November 2021. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Billie Eilish perfume fans. <laughs> Cute. How long did it take to come up with the concept of the bottle and what was that idea slash inspo? Love you. Love you too. Great question. Um, I always have loved just bodies and I just think they're very beautiful and I've always kind of admired the human body and the female body and um, really everybody. But uh, I also have always loved collarbones. I think that they're a really beautiful and like, I guess underrated part of the body. Um, and I just think there's so much beauty in collarbones and there's so much also like mystery in them in a way like because if you see somebody's collarbones you don't know who it is right you can't you can't figure out who someone is just based on that so there's this like weird anonymity that I found with it um and also I was in Germany years and years and years ago and I was at a truck stop and I found this little this little like statue and I just I thought it was so pretty I bought it it was like two dollars or something but I thought it was so beautiful and it was just this girl, you know, sitting and I just thought that her shoulders and her chest looked so beautiful and I just thought like, I wanna do something with, with shoulders. And there was also, um, I had a couple other things that, that were like bodies and I've always loved bodies and I have a couple paintings of like just bodies in my house and rugs with body. I just, I think bodies are beautiful and um, the female body is, really gorgeous and uh I just I wanted it to be like not hyper I don't know out there but like soft but also I don't know I don't know but I drew a bunch of different versions I like I drew you know collarbone like how can we do a collarbone thing and then I told them and they kind of were like oh we could do this and this and this and we kind of went back and forth with like drawings of a collarbone idea or like a shoulder idea or like a anyway um did you wear eilish to the oscars slash grammys <laughs> um i don't think i did i don't think i did i i feel like i don't know i it's like a very to me at this point it's a very specific smell because i've had so many different memories to it and with things like that i like to have like a new memory um but i've worn it a bunch and you got to see me and notice when i'm wearing it or not that's the fun part um, but I, I like, I wear a lot of different fragrances, so, you know, I might be wearing that one, I might be wearing something else, um, I changed it up a lot, but, yeah. Um, what was the first perfume you fell in love with? Ooh, the first perfume I fell in love with was from CVS, for real, and it was called, uh, Hawaiian... Oh my god, what the fuck was it called? I don't remember what it was called, but it was this tiny little bottle in a CVS. It was the one close to my parents' house. And it was just on a little rack with all these others. Oh my god, what the fuck was it called? It was called, like, Hawaiian... Ugh, I don't remember, but I remember buying it and, like, not really thinking anything of it. I just wanted a perfume, and I hadn't used one ever. And this was when I was a dancer, and... I had sprayed it earlier in the day and I remember being in dance and we were in ballet and I was like, we were at the bar and I remember thinking, what does that smell? That smells so good. What is that? And I, you know, I was like searching around, I was like looking around, like, what the, is that somebody in here? I was kind of like, like probably being a weirdo and like sniffing people. And I was like, and it was my, in my own chest and it smelled so good. And I was like, oh my God, that's that's the fragrance that I put on. And so I, I used that one up. I used that for so long. Um, and I loved, I loved that fragrance. So that was the first one. Chloe says, do you prefer warm scents always or can you stand more floral and bright scents? It's a good question too. Um, it really depends. I'm, I'm not usually a floral fan. I don't love floral for myself. I like it on other people. Um, I don't, I feel like I'm not a floral smelling, like I, I don't want to smell 
floral in a way. I don't know. I but then there's a few uh, um, floral fragrances that I think are really beautiful. Um, but it really just depends. Like it depends what notes there are. If it's kind of like a a darker floral, then I I love it. If it's more of like a powdery floral, I don't I don't like I don't love powdery scents that much for myself again. Um, and brighter scents. I mean, I used to love fruity scents a lot when I was younger. Fruity was like the thing that I loved. And it kind of wasn't until I was older that I was like, oh, I actually like the kind of musky, darker amber tones. Um, Caroline says, what was your favorite thing about making your own fragrance? Everything. I loved it so much. I loved it so much. It was such a dream. I've wanted to make a fragrance for my entire life. Um, not ever thinking it would be a possibility, but I, it's been such a dream of mine for so long and literally every meeting, like, I remember saying to them on one meeting, like, I do so many meetings, you guys, and I've never cared about a meeting more than this one, <laughs> just so you know. I've never been more excited to hear what people have to say besides this. Um, so, yeah. What made you want to start a fragrance line? Always wanted to. I, I've always, always wanted to. Um, yeah, I, I just, since I was a little kid, I've loved fragrance so much. My dad and I would get the, you know, the, the magazine fragrances that you like rip open and smell and my dad would collect them so that like by the end of the week, um, when he would get the newspapers and the magazines in the mail, we, he would collect them, collect them by the end of the week. We would sit together on the couch in the piano room, as we call it. It's just a room with a piano. And um, we would smell the scents and we would describe what they smelled like um, and like come up with scenarios of like where the smell took place and like what happened during the smell. And, like, what does it smell like? What is it like? What's the surrounding of the smell? And we would look at the models on the pictures and be like, what's that model thinking? <laughs> and we would always make up things that the model was thinking like, oh, my God, I'm so fucking bored and shit like that. I don't know. It was really funny to me at five. So. If you were to create another perfume, what kind of scent would you go for? Well, um, I, sh I shall do so. And um, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I have a lot of ideas. I really want to make something that's, like I love pine and, and woodsy and like, um, I don't know, like just kind of, yeah, like woodsy, I guess, like, like, being in a in a Christmas tree lot or in like a forest or <laughs> um but then with kind of spicy notes at the same time like a like a what would you call it what's that what's that like spicy nut <laughs> anyway I don't know um so that or you know I love the smell of rain and I love I love kind of metallic smells if that means anything to you iron deficiency and, uh, so yeah. Last question is, will there be other fragrances or products besides Eilish? Yes. <laughs> um, there might be some stuff coming this year. Let me just say that. Um, so yeah. I love you guys so much. And, um, this has been very cute. Thank you for bearing with me and my rained on hair and my just self alone. I love you guys so much and yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, tuning in and I love you and I'll see you soon and go buy Eilish and yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye.